What's up, guys? So, I wanted to talk about, uh, I just got um, done playing GTA 4 recently. Um, I played it so many times in the past, but I, uh, it's like, you know what? It's been a while. Let me pick this back up. So I did, and I was just, ugh, I was just wowed by that game. I forgot how amazing it was. And it kind of made me think, I have a strong feeling that GTA 6 I'm sure the gameplay will be good, but I have a strong feeling that the story is not going to be good. It's going to be shit. And here's why I think that. I think, as many companies have, I think Rockstar has lost its edge. Um, you can see it in all their games from uh, even um, Red Dead 2. Um, but GTA 5, definitely. Um, GTA 5 is a much more lighthearted, and maybe they were just going for that, but in my opinion, um, and this also kind of ties into, you know, I've been playing um, uh, Saints Row, the new Saints Row game, and they've definitely lost their edge. While I don't hate the gameplay uh, of Saints Row, it's it's a terrible game. The story is awful. Um, and in this world, I feel like... <clears throat> This time, this era, and this world is really hard to keep something with edge because you can get in trouble that way. Um, Saints Row is just another example. Saints Row is, it has no edge at all. It's just uh, it's cringy. It's not fun. Um, and I worry that GTA Six is going to worry is going to focus more on societal issues that aren't actual issues. But what Twitter has made those issues, it's funny because I was in GTA 4 and I was just riding the car and the radio was playing. And it was talking about, um, I forgot what the, the host on the radio was just pretty much talking about like, uh, I think it's called America's Next Top Whore, you know, which was obviously a play on America's Next Top Model. And they were like, you know, <laughs> now you can see who the biggest whore is in the world and it's great. And that I felt like, you know, that's, the way they play that, the way they say that then, it was so true. Now, they could not make a game and have that in there now. They could, but they're not willing to risk it, you know. Um, and they were talking about government shit and, like, you know, I'm not mad if GTA gets political. It's always been semi-political. But I worry that they're going to get Twitter political, which doesn't actually have an effect on this world. Believe it or not. Twitter is fake. It's nothing. It's not real. You know, um, and I think you can see that a bit in GTA, not too much actually in GTA 5. GTA 5 is more just, I have an issue with all the GTAs prior to GTA 5, especially GTA 4, were so dark and gritty. And it's almost like they weren't, trust me, but it's almost like, man, you might have thought, like, man, the people who made this game, they actually knew what it was like to be here, to be in the inner city, like, a, you know, doing crime shit, because it was so dark, and it was, it was emotional, and it wasn't as just, it wasn't crazy and loopy. I mean, GTA V is almost a Saints Row game, as far as how just goofy all that shit is. Um... But then you look at Red Dead 2, and I actually watched a video on Red Dead 2, and uh, it made a lot of good points, pretty much about how political Red Dead 2 is and how improper Red Dead 2 is for its time period. You know, Arthur Arthur Morgan, that, is that his name, the main character? He's a feminist, and he also really cares about black people and Native Americans, and it's like... But those are the only people he seems to care about because he'll go and murder 50 other people. In the first few scenes of the game, you're literally murdering a fucking farmer because he doesn't pay you guys. You know, but he's a super nice guy. Like, the farmer is a really good guy. He's just hard on his luck. But then somebody cheaps out a Native American and you're like, what? How could he do this? And it also just doesn't make sense. Like, there's some scenes where, like, a, there's a black man who gets isn't getting business. He's a doctor and he's, I think his cart got stolen or something. And Arthur Morgan's like, what? Why 
why would they do that? Like, what are you talking about? And, and the black guy's like, well, it's probably because of the color of my skin. And Arthur's like, what? Well, that just ain't right. It's like nobody during that time period would have been that blatantly stupid. Even if you didn't agree with it, you would have known what was going on. They try to make him, when it came to race and sex, they try to make him this fucking saint, you know, that doesn't see colors or sex. It's like, it just doesn't make sense. Now, Red Dead 2's story was incredible. I didn't love the game. I did not think, I, I still don't understand why a game like that can get so much praise, but a game like um, Far Cry doesn't. Not that I like Far Cry, but I'm saying they're one and the same in a lot of ways. It's literal just go to point A, go to point B, and do the same thing over and over again. The only thing that GT or uh, Red Dead does better is the world is obviously where there are places to go to, it's better, it looks better, and the story was, was incredible. But I had a big problem with Red Dead. I found a lot of the parts to be boring. It's a lot of riding the horse over vast distances. And, um, you know, I just I didn't love it as much. You know, I loved Red Dead 1 way better. Um, and I think, I also think if you look at what they're doing with i worry because of what they did with red dead online and also what they're doing with gta online they're fucking milking that thing for all it is i mean they made a gta plus almost 10 years after its initial release they made a gta plus where you sign up for a membership to get more shit that's just ridiculous why would you do that so i think you know like most companies uh money is consuming them and the twitter sphere and everything else in it is consuming them and just like Saints Row, I think they're going to come out with a really shitty story. Um, you know, it sucks to see these beloved video game companies go down this way. And by this way, I mean by something so stupid and minuscule that won't mean anything in the long run. They're not making a change. You know, like, you're not doing something different. Adding a female character as the main character, whoa, there's never been a game. No, this has happened before. You're not the first to do this. You know, so uh, I don't know. I worry that it's going to be a cringy game that is not down to earth at all. The previous games, like in the fourth game, if a Russian immigrant who literally lived the life like Nico in the game came and played that game, he'd be like, you know what? I can relate to this. This is some heavy shit. Like I've, I've been there, done that. If they, you know, I fear that they're going to make a game relatable to fucking Twitter assholes who have nothing to do but complain about sexism and racism. And it's like, man, that's, believe it or not, that's a very small, minuscule amount of people that you're going to be catering to. I mean, it shows in the ratings and how many people are buying it. Mind you, I don't think it will matter. No matter what, I'm going to buy the game. You know, it's GTA 6. Who's not going to buy that game? And that's the problem, you know. But, you know, like I said, it really matters about, you know, people, are look, people aren't looking long-term enough. If you make a shitty game, if you're a big company and you make a shitty game that sells really well, your next game isn't going to do good. And you can really, really fuck with your sales for the next years to come, you know. You got to be careful. People are getting tired of their shit. You know, it was working for a little bit, but people are done with it. They're not done with, you know, it's okay to have shit that represents people. But when you sacrifice story and gameplay for it, people don't want to feel that. People don't want to hear that shit. You know, I think St. Rose is a perfect example. You have extremely liberal companies, reviewers, saying like, man, this game is fucking trash. You know, I think uh, I think GTA uh, Rockstar really needs to be careful, man. I miss the old days. You know, it's funny. I really want to bully two, but I don't think uh, bully two would be good at all. I mean, think about what it would be. It'd be a bunch of high schoolers, probably cringy fucking high schoolers, or you know, who knows if they stepped up and went to college. It'd be cringy fucking college students that could. If they made a bully two, they could do so much funny shit 
that would it, it could be incredible but knowing them now they would probably make one like in the past they they would make fun of shit that is considered you know not allowed today they, they would do it all the time you know and that shit was just funny it was a laugh it didn't matter you know say you know i love how people will say like they need to represent but at the same time you're murdering hundreds of people it's like well you're not really representing murder victims or people who've had family members that have been murdered like i'm not going into gta to be represented or to see representation gta is the last place you should want to see representation if you don't like gta because of the lack of representation that should be the least of your concerns they're literally you're murdering people on a daily basis in gta it just doesn't make sense how you could even try to connect the two same with saints row like that's my biggest problem with saints row is like you try to create this cast of characters that have this strong moral compass but then like within the first few scenes you're like man i'm short on money let's go rob the place you know let's go kill these people it's like it doesn't make sense you know so i don't know i'm a little concerned uh we'll see what happens but i'm not holding my breath i'm uh I have a good feeling that GTA 6 is going to be not as good as 5 or 4. But we'll see. We will see.